Another company is set to bring self-driving vehicles to Atlanta. May Mobility and Lyft are teaming up to launch autonomous rideshare vehicles later this year, this summer, we're told. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn live for us in downtown Atlanta tonight. And Cody, we should say another company because we know Uber has something similar in the works as well. Jonathan, that's right. If you've seen those white, future lo futuristic-looking crossover vehicles with cameras all over them, those are called Waymos. They've teamed up with Uber and will be bringing that to an app soon. And it's basically the same concept that Lyft is bringing to Atlanta, teaming up with a company called May Mobility, saying that this is not going to benefit just the riders, but also drivers and the city's infrastructure. Pretty soon, these Toyota Siennas will be on the streets of Atlanta. These are our minivans, and then they're built here in the United States. We convert them into autonomous vehicles at May Mobility. Edwin Olson, founder and CEO of May Mobility. We're really excited about the partnership with Lyft. He says adding more vehicles to Lyft's platform, autonomous or not, means shorter wait times and more opportunities for drivers. Because there is a, oftentimes, excessively long waits for people when they request lifts or ride shares in general, and we can help. As for the technology... Uh, it's based on reasoning, just the way a human would reason its way, that if you're in a complicated situation, you might say, oh, what I should do depends on what the bicycle does, and what the bicycle does depends on the pedestrian. Those are traditionally very hard problems for AVs, but we have a really uh, cool technology that helps us solve those kinds of problems, which leads to better safety. Speaking of safety... The biggest safety feature is that this vehicle is looking in 360 degrees 24-7. It never gets dis distracted, it doesn't get sleepy, and it has really hyper-awareness of what's going around it. Despite not having a human driver... So every seating position has a button available where that will call you, uh, connect to a, a human that you can talk to at any time. Olson says this partnership is about making cities like Atlanta more sustainable. And increasing safety for pedestrians and cyclists. The other big component is connecting riders to mass transit where mass transit is available. Because at the end of the day, one light rail line can carry... 25 lanes worth of traffic. These vehicles are already in nine other cities, including just down the road in Peachtree Corners, a little bit different program down there where they just went fully driverless last month. So looking in the future, Jonathan, Liv kind of sells it like this. Pretty soon, in a few years, we will have the option to probably buy an autonomous car. They'll be on the market for folks like you and I. The idea here is that while we're at work, say here at 11 Alive reporting the news tonight, we can have our autonomous vehicle out on the street making money for us and not even have to be in the vehicle. That's kind of looking in the future of rideshare programs. Live in downtown Atlanta, Cody Alcorn, 11 Alive News. That looks like where we may be headed. Hopefully, though, a smooth rollout here in the city. Cody, thanks so much.